Hi everybody, so today we're going to be talking about scarlet fever. And scarlet fever is just a basically a rare condition that normally goes away on its own. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. And basically, this is what's going to happen with scarlet fever. Is first, we're going to have a bacteria. Okay, and we're going to call this bacteria Streptococcus. Pyogenes. Okay, so streptococcus pyogenes. Now, here's what's going to happen that causes scarlet fever: is you are going to get a virus, a certain type of virus, that's going to land on this strept here. Okay, and this this type of virus here is called a bacterial phage. Okay, so this is my bacterial phage. Okay, I'm actually going to take this off right here. And then the bacteriophage, it looks almost like a spider to a certain extent. Okay, and the bacteriophage is going to go like this and, and like this. And actually, let's actually leave this open here too. And in the bacterial phase, it is going to land on the cell wall of the bacteria. Now, inside the bacterial phase, you are going to have genetic material. Okay? And what the bacteria is going to do is it's going to insert this genetic material into the uh, streptococcus, okay? So it inserts it into here, all right? Now, what's going to happen next now is the streptococcus is going to change its function and it's going to start to make something called an erythrogenic toxin. Okay, so what an erythrogenic toxin is, is it's something that produces or turns things red. All right, so it's going to make things turn red. So, for example, one of the signs of scarlet fever is a red rash on the skin. So we're going to get a rash on the skin. 